What's up guys, it's DJ. Welcome to Gamma Bro Hulk Reviews. Now if you're a Gamma Dose of the Jade Giants, today's featured Hulk item is based off the 2008 Incredible Hulk movie. This is a limited edition Incredible Hulk Target exclusive and is made by Hasbro. And the review is coming up next. Thanks for joining me today, guys. So this specific figure is under the Marvel Legends banner. When dealing with the 2008 Incredible Hulk movie toy merchandise, Hasbro released their own 2008 Incredible Hulk toy line that was not under the Marvel Legends banner. That specific franchise was in Toys R Us stores, Target stores, and Walmarts. They are readily available, basically online, retailers, and everything. So what makes this figure stand out and rare is that Marvel Legends uh, did make their own version of the 2008 Incredible Hulk, and that's this figure that I'm going to show you today. It is not associated with the 2008 figure line. It's its own thing. You can only get it at Target's. So it came in a really cool clamshell, had its own unique packaging, but it was, just, it was a one-off figure that had nothing to do with a specific Marvel Legends line. Target and Hasbro just agreed to make a Marvel Legends Incredible Hulk figure from that movie. And here's what he looks like right now. So I'm just going to start off with the pun intended Incredible packaging. It is very unique for a specific Marvel Legends to have its own uh, signature packaging. And this one is in a really nice clamshell and really stood out compared to the other Marvel Legends at the time just because of the uniqueness of the packaging. So at the top, it has the Incredible Hulk logo. Here's the figure itself, only at Target, limited edition Hulk. A really, really nice Incredible Hulk image on the side. There's the Marvel Legends logo with a little bit of gamma radiation of green and yellow in the background. As the Incredible Hulk logo, Marvel Legends logo. This is the Marvel Legends logo of 2007 through 2009, I believe. This specific packaging and figure came out in 2008 for the movie. For a little promotion, which is hilarious. For cool games, insider toys, news, and much more. I wonder if anybody ever actually did that. Here's a nice promotional image on the back, which I actually like. I like that pose. So I might pose my figure at the end with that specific pose. So here is a little synopsis. Pursued for years and driven to the ends of the earth, Dr. Bruce Banner carries the burden of his secret dark side. A lab accident exposed him to gamma radiation that unlocked something dark within. A primal force of rage so powerful that in times of great stress, it alters his mind and body into the monstrous creature known as the Hulk. Responsible for untold destruction, Hulk is a curse Banner chooses to bear alone. While seeking ways to control his emotions, he is timely searching for a cure, but the stress and anger of everyday life are a constant threat. No matter what Banner does, the Hulk is always with him. Where the Hulk goes, destruction follows. Height, 9 feet, 1,400 pounds, real name, Dr. Robert Bruce Banner, identity, secret, that's kind of funny. Alias none, affiliation none, powers. They just list superhuman strength and indestructibility. So in regards to packaging and presentation, I'll just give my score now for this. I think it's very, very, very nice. They went above and beyond what normal packaging of Marvel Legends were like. Very reminiscent of the clamshell packaging of the past. So now on to the figure itself. This is Marvel Legends version and their take on 2008 Incredible Hulk. So for sculpt, I think this looks nothing like the Edward Norton Incredible Hulk, to be honest. I think this is, a, you know, a kind of a savage version of a Hulk. The slight inklings of Edward Norton in there, but I really just don't see it, to be honest. And I think the Hasbro... 2008 Incredible Hulk line of other figures definitely portrayed this version of Hulk a little bit better. For the, the chest and the stomach sculpt, 
I think it's very nice. I don't think, I don't hate it at all. I think it's a good sculpt. This is a very unique sculpt just for this specific figure. So you have the big buys and tries, very, very long arms. I'll get to that when I do the articulation. Uh, but definitely the arms are the standout feature, even with the promotional pictures and how they pose them in the box. They really want you to focus on having the arms out. As for the pants, pants aren't bad. I think they're sculpted well. I like the stretch folds. I don't think there's enough rips really on the pants. They didn't really go into that much detail with them, but the sculpt overall is okay. As for the back, uh, the back sculpt is okay. Again, the way the back is articulated, it is positioned in a way where the arms are pretty much flexing. A back really doesn't look like this, and especially the traps don't look like this unless the arms are outstretched in like an upward position. Like the shoulders should be positioned back even farther than they are to show what a back would look like in this type of positioning. Now dealing with the torso, very, very strange paneling for like striations because Edward Norton Hulk, he, his muscle density and fibers were very, very visible on the sculpt. And I think that's what they're trying to go with. It's like, if you look at this, you can see these rivets all throughout this part of the stomach in the back, the lower back, but they don't have it anywhere else. So I think they originally were going with that and then maybe it didn't look good everywhere and they kind of already did this mold so they stuck with it. But in my opinion, it just stands out like a sore thumb and kind of looks weird because it doesn't match the rest of the, the body. The feet are, you know, basic feet and they look fine. They provide a lot of stability. I can move this table around and you won't fall. So there's no problems with that at all. Now, dealing with paint, again, it's a very mixed bag with this figure. So the face is a little bit lighter color than the chest and torso. Uh, I, the hair is fine. The eyebrows are fine, the paint on the eyes are fine. Again, it doesn't look like Edward Norton, but you can't really dock them on the actual paint itself. It's not bad. But if you take a look specifically at the back and then you look at the arms, two completely different color greens. I'm not sure why they did that or the reasoning behind it, but it does not look good. It stands out like a sore thumb and just it's just, in my opinion, not the greatest. You can see color variation between the joints with the dark greens. And then you have basically like a mustard color and a little bit of light brown throughout the lighter color greens. They did implement that in here, but they don't stand out nearly as much as they do in the arms. So again, paint wise, it just doesn't really match all that well. Paint on the pants is very, very generic. Again, not the greatest. I wouldn't even go with that color. This color is really off with what pants he wore. I don't even think it's the correct color in general. I, he, he wore more of like browns and, and lighter browns and darker browns throughout the movie. This is like almost like a black pant and I just, I don't think it's very accurate to what the movie was. And again, the, then the feet are again, dark green. So you have dark green knees and feet and then you come up here and you have this like brownish light green. So just, it's mismatched in color everywhere. So for paint, I'm gonna give it like a 7.3. I don't really think they did a very good job on it, to be honest. So now we will get into the articulation. So we are going to start with proportions. He is about seven, a little over seven inches. He's definitely a lot bigger than the 2008 Incredible Hulk line. They're more of like a five and a half to six inch size. So this does, uh, you know, go really well with Marvel Legends of the time. So focusing on the head, no swivel. You cannot do a 360 rotation because of the, the traps in the back. So that's as far as you can go. There is a little bit of tilt on both sides here. So there's a little bit of tilt. When it comes to the chest in the back, with the newer Hulks, they have a joint here where you can really move the arms back. And I think that's what they originally were going to go with with this. But then they put this weird plastic piece on the side here, which looks really, really funny. It looks like wings almost. It blocks part of the shoulder and it serves no purpose in, in regards to articulation. So it really, really prevents 
movement. That's as far back as you can go with the arms. Even raising it, that's as far as you can go because it blocks in the back. You can kind of finagle it and if you move it out a little bit you can rotate it but it's just really intrusive overall there is no bicep swivel there is a single joint in the elbows and there's wrist articulation there's only wrist rotation there's no flexing of the wrist at all so dealing with the hands this is 2008 so I'm, it's surprising that they went with this type of articulation with the hands because this is very reminiscent of early 2000s articulation but they decided to go with that for this which is okay so it's the same for the other side again no wrist articulation just rotation so when it comes to moving hulk's arms out that's as high up as it goes pretty terrible overall you can pull the arms out here that's as far back as the arms go he can't do things like hulk smash because he can't make a fist so this is very much like arms out type of poses. Now dealing with the actual arms. Now here's the size of the arms. The length is extremely long, pretty much past his knees. Really, really, really long fingers. Very, very strange. I don't like the sculpt here inside the pants. There's a gap there and it's very, very, very visible. Um, there is a little bit of ab crunch but not much at all the ab crunch itself is very little on top here but more in the the waist and hips so there is a rotation here you can do pretty far rotation there's no articulation at all really in the legs you only can go up you cannot go out to, at all to the sides there is thigh articulation here on both sides the joints are surprisingly tight. The only loose part of the entire body is pretty much right here where that gap is that I was referring to, that huge gap that you can see. So he's a little loose there, but I think he's supposed to be. Now in regards to the legs, terrible articulation in the back of the legs. That's as far as it goes, so it doesn't even go 90 degrees. There is ankle rotation and ankle pivot. There's no toe joints at all. So for articulation, uh, again, I think this is a pretty big miss for Marvel Legends. You can get limited poses. Some of the poses are okay. The longer arms, the lack of mobility in the joints, even the, the color variations in the joints look, you know, you can they pop out like a sore thumb. They're different colors. Articulation-wise, I'm going to give this figure a 7 out of 10. You can definitely have them in poses like this. I think this is a pretty nice pose that was... The pose in the back of the promotional images. You can have the arms outstretched like I had in the beginning, but that's about all you got. You can't really mess with the legs all that much, but he does balance really well. He won't fall, so you have that going for you, but posing's pretty bad overall. In regards to the quality, this is Marvel Legends quality. I don't think it's terrible, so quality is different than articulation. All the joints are very tight. Um, it does what they, they intended to have it do. I still think it's subpar compared to Marvel Legends of five years prior to this. So in regards to quality, I am probably going to give him a 8.2 out of 10. I don't think it's atrocious. I don't think it's bad. There's really no terrible joints or anything. I just don't think it's up to standards of other... Marvel Legends figures of Hulk figures around this time. And I think he's definitely subpar compared to the rest of them. So presence, I think open to the presence of this figure with a nice pose on your shelf. I don't think it's bad. So I, I would give presence with this probably an eight opened. If you include this packaging with this presence and the really, really nice packaging, the pose, I would give presence you know, a lot higher. In my opinion, if if it's between keeping it in the package or out of the package, this figure is not going to wow you out of the package posability wise, playability. You can have a nice pose like this. If you prefer something like this than this, then get it, put it on your shelf and you'll be fine. But I think this has much better presence with this really, really nice packaging and I would just leave it in here. If I only had to choose between one, I would definitely get it packaged. 
And the presence is going to be around a nine with this packaging. So overall, this is all over the place. After everything's all said and done, I will give the 2008 Target exclusive Hulk a eight. That's about a B minus overall. And if you're collecting Hulk figures, pick it up just because you can just put it on your shelf and it'll be with the rest of them. And I'm a pretty big fan of the 2008 movie. So having having more figures of it is more the merrier, in my opinion. But if you're just having a couple Hulks in your collection, this Hulk is far from what you're going to be buying in regards to the best Hulks in the game, because this this definitely isn't one of the best. So price, this is a Target exclusive, uh, pretty limited. They didn't say specify how many there were, but I don't, there weren't really that many floating around. They had a certain amount per store and a lot of people, just because how nice the packaging was, they kept it in the package. So there are a lot of unopened versions of this floating around on the internet. Get on eBay, Mercari, you can find a package version, probably 30, 40 bucks. But if you can get around 30, I don't think it's terrible. 25, 30. I wouldn't pay any more than that just because I don't think it's that good of a figure. Opened, you're looking at probably 20, $25. So it's not going to be that big of a difference in regards to the difference in price between un unopened and opened. So you might as well just get it unopened. And then if you want to open it yourself, open it. But my recommendation is just getting it unopened. If you want my opinion, that's the review for today. If you're a Hulk fan though, like me, I'm trying to collect every Hulk six inch figure and he is one of them. And again, the packaging makes it a little bit better for me when buying it. But I, even when I did open it back in 2008, I was kind of disappointed in the articulation and the quality of it. I just don't think it's up to snuff compared to other figures. But that's it for today, guys. So hope you enjoyed this one. Please Hulk smash the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. So have a wonderful day and peace. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother.